your rematch with him, you you seem to be better than this, the rematch than you were in the first fight. Mentally, I was much, much more focused, and that was purely because I'd lost my brother in the August. Yeah. So I was supposed to fight David Day in the August. Uh, sorry, to lie. I was supposed. I thought David Hay originally the first fight was on the May. He busters Achilles tendon, didn't he? The rematch was set for December. In between that, uh, May the fifth period and the December. Sorry, not May the fifth. March the fucking March the fourth. I fought David Hay. Yeah. March the fourth at the O two. Uh, in between the March period and the December period, where the rematch was supposed to happen in December, he healed, he done whatever. Me, me, Bird's brother, me, me brother Ashley went on holiday uh, to be his his best mate's best man, and he never came home in the August. Uh, the same night McGregor fought me with her. So when he never came back, I was supposed to fight David in December. Me world just collapsed. That's the best way of saying. It. And people think why well, I don't believe in God because. If you believed in God, how the fucking hell is a 32-year-old young man just comes home, just goes on Aldi and never comes home. There's mm. two daughters, you know what I mean? It's fucking... It's, Heartbreaking. It's, oh, mate, it's the worst part of my whole entire life. Yeah. Uh, the amount... And I always hear people going on about depression and things like that, which it pisses me off a bit these days how much people play on the word depression. Mm. You wouldn't know what depression was and if you really did feel it, mate, you'd, you'd really... Un mm. It's a horrible thing crying yourself to sleep every night. I went back to, to camp. I lost Ashley in the August and I, I was a selfish cunt. I needed to get out the house because my life was just a mess. Uh, my missus was finished. Uh, it nearly finished us. All of us, our whole family. And I remember going back to camp and I, I started fighting just to get just to get out the house. I said, fight David Day in the rematch December. It's all done sound. I went to Sheffield. I was in Sheffield for four or five weeks and I just... Every night for four or five weeks, I just cry myself to sleep in a fucking hotel, ex all of the Express. And it was just horrible, the worst time of my life. Fortunately enough for me, David A pulled out the fight. He now, this time, he fucking busts his, 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 his bicep. bicep. He'd done his bicep. Uh, honest to God, if I'd got in the ring in that December, I'd have done something crazy. Mm -hmm. I'd have done something mad. Just full might, of rage and anger. I might have bit him. I might have kicked him. Yeah. I might. I would. Have, I might have held, but I would have mm -hmm. done something crazy because mm -hmm. I was on the breaking point. So that's the closest I've ever come. I reckon to having a breakdown. Yeah. I was just a lonely, fucking horrible place. I just couldn't put nothing together. It's just arguing with my missus all the time, uh, and we just couldn't work it out. You know, yeah. Ashley was just gone, and it just ruined. But that business. shows you the strength of your character. Because you came back and you came back even stronger. I think yeah. everybody that watched that fight was crying at the end as well because you could see the emotion. You're clearly a man who wears your heart on your sleeve. You don't fuck about. Your loyalty is raw. It's there. But again, brother, you feel your presence. You feel family presence. And you you said you felt someone in that ring. And that shit, mate, you can't buy. You you did yourself proud and your family proud. So first of all, I'm proud. Thank you. Mate, um, because... It was hard. Just coming back from that, it was yeah. just so hard. It was... a. Uh, it was just such a horrible place to be in. As I said, I just didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Me, you know, your kids are seeing all this. Me kids have been exposed to it. And it's fucking horrible. Me little yeah. baby boys, uh, and losing their uncle like that. And I mm -hmm. said, it's just so so sad. And and, and we and we had no closure at all. Whereas the, there's people involved who know a lot more than us and don't don't tell us the truth. Mm -hmm. And it's just so sad and heartbreaking. It really, really yeah. is. But what can you do? You're going to move on. We honour this. We honour them now, and we do everything we can to remember him in the best light. He's yeah. such a lovely lad. This is why I have a little bit of a uh, soft words towards Liverpool Football Club now. The horrible bastards. Uh, he, he was. He was a copite. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I used to I used to be the worst bitter Evertonian mm -hmm. you'll ever meet. I fucking hated Liverpool Football mm -hmm. Club. I still do hate Liverpool Football mm -hmm. Club, I'm being honest. But the, I, when Ashley died apart and me just just died with it and that was it. Me hate yeah. towards them. And then also just I don't have anger and hate towards anyone these days. Mm -hmm. I really don't. As I don't you have, know, brother, life is too short as well. I just don't have grudges. it, mate. I don't yeah. have any grudges towards anyone. I used mm -hmm. to I used to hate Frank Warren. I don't hate him anymore. Yeah. I just don't have I don't have it in me. I just don't hate anyone. Oh, there's people who are dislike. Yeah, there's people course. who don't want to be mm -hmm. around because they're negative and there's people who have the they bring a bad presence around me, but I don't hate anyone. Yeah. And there's people, loads of people yeah. out there have done bad to me and done yeah. wrong to me, but I don't hate you. Mm -hmm. I don't hate you. I don't want I don't wish you no harm on anyone. Yeah. Uh, and that 
and that came with him when he passed away. That definitely what changed me. I yeah. just don't wish bad on him. See the world differently. Yeah, he was such the nicest person you could wish to meet. Mm -hmm. The 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 life and soul of the party. Fucking mm -hmm. loved to party. Yeah. yeah. If if he was here now, mate, let me tell you, fucking hell. He, de <laughs> he declined. He declined up that lava building and got barco and shown his ass yeah. to the fucking world. Yeah. People are firing fireworks. Yeah. As we, I'm telling you, he declined up there naked. <laughs> naked. Mm -hmm. And it's fucking, it would have took yeah. them that long, nearly fucking 30 yeah. years, it took them bastards to win the league. <laughs> so it's, you know what, it's just... But at least you've got a lot of good memories, and that's that beautiful some... thing. And even bet you when Liverpool won the league, he would have probably been the first oh, thing that popped into your head. Yeah, he was. I sat there. Uh, didn't he won it when Chelsea lost? Uh, Chelsea beat City. Was yeah. it Wednesday night? A Wednesday night, because me and my missus sat there. My missus was a bit upset, and we just sat there, and I was happy. Mm -hmm. I smiled and I was laughing with her because yeah. she's a cop like me, bitch. She's a fucking horrible dead. <laughs> so, so she's just we sat there and we just laughed and we just thought about him. Yeah, because all he done was follow Liverpool everywhere. He just went everywhere with them, uh, and what it they meant to him. So a part of me is happy. Don't get me wrong. Don't fucking mix it up. Yeah. I didn't want them to win the yeah. league. I don't fucking wish them to win the league. <laughs> but when the bastards mm -hmm. have won it, I'm just I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy purely for them. Yeah. And I fucking hate them, mate. Mm -hmm. I really do. But he's, he, you know, he was mm -hmm. so many things to, to us that we meant. And you don't realise it. One thing I'll say to people is don't fall out with, you know, there's loads of families, they don't get on. You know, I didn't speak to my brother for a, a good number of years. Uh, the first time I spoke to him in about four or five years, maybe longer, was when Ashley died. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone has problems in the family. Everyone has issues. But trust me, work it out and sort it out because it's just too short. Yeah. And if they go, you mm -hmm. never want it to end on them on them kind of circumstances. Uh, I loved Ash. Lived in my house. Uh, it was that first house I told, told you that I bought mm -hmm. uh, in Old Swan. He was living there uh, when he passed away. So I'll always come to me as well. Our first house in his first proper house. So yeah. just a, a lovely lad. The life and soul of the party, I'll always miss him. Not a day goes by that I don't think about yeah. it. And I say, when I say to you, I don't believe about fuck all in the church, praying all yeah, that yeah. shit. I believe one hundred percent he's watching down and yeah. looking at us. He like he used to always, he was the cheekiest bastard. <laughs> I remember he turned up at my house, and he was the only person in the world who'd come in. And he'd be sitting there and he'd go, "Hey, Hans, how much did you pay for that? How much did you pay for that? How much did you pay for that?" Mm -hmm. I'd be like, "Fucking hell, lad, you fucking quizzing me on how much you pay for that for the corpus? <laughs> nosy bastards, so, <laughs> just things like that. Or you'd have a watch and he'd go, yeah. "Fucking hell, lad, how much did you pay for that?" Watch? <laughs> fucking shoes are nice yeah. how much are they just, he's just yeah. a cheeky fucker but he, he wouldn't there was no malice in Ash no nastiness yeah. he was just such a good good person 